Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the rationalinvestor.co. Actually, I'm going to do a cute little tutorial here because somebody on Twitter asked, and this is a public video. So let's go have some fun here. This is uh, going out to uh, Jaroslaw Wershkserek. I probably totally butchered that. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's show you the uh, tweet. He says here, uh, hi, Brian, I watched your strategy with OBV, EMA, and volumes. How can I place these three indicators on one chart window? I'm assuming that you're talking about Coinigy. So um, get back to me after this video if it isn't Coinigy, and we can talk about what platform you do use. But I thought for the purposes, just quick little five, 10 minute video here, we'll do one uh, to show you how I build it on Coinigy. So, um, Gonna bring up a brand new chart window. And as you can see, I got gazillions of windows open here. Um, and why don't we, for the purposes of this video, just make it nice and simple. We'll do B uh, T C U S D. And let's uh, select an old stamp. There's your hourly chart. Let's maybe change it to daily so you can see everything. So this is sort of the default. Uh, we start off, uh, you can actually do it two different ways. Um, the easiest way, probably, we'll go through it the easy way, is uh, we're just going to select indicators, and we're going to scroll down to where it says OBV. <coughs> and you'll notice the good people at Coinigy actually have the OBV EMA already on their system. So you don't even have to worry about Pine Script or anything. You just click on that. So now we have, and I think this is what this gentleman was asking, um, OBV, EMA, and volume. How can I place these two indicators on one chart window? So we have all the desired uh, tools on the chart. Let's maybe go in and change these colors so we can see them a little better. Um, ah, we can leave volume as it is. But uh, let's maybe change OBV to, I don't know, let's go yellow. And let's make it a little bigger. There we go. And the moving average, well, let's maybe make that blue. And we'll make it a little bigger. All right, so there are our three studies. We're then going to, and it's a little bit tricky. I think probably the best thing to do is let's go on to volume and let's, uh, unmerge down. So now we have three windows, price all on its own, volume, and then the moving averages. Let's now merge the EMA with the OBV. So we're going to uh, select the indicator, right click, and merge up. All right. Now, and this is important, right? You'll look at this moving average and you'll say, well, this doesn't really make any sense. How can the indicator be going down and the moving average just be sitting there? The answer, simply put, and you're going to have to make sure when you do this that this is aligned correctly. If we select the moving average, and then you'll notice it says scale left. If we select the indicator and we right-click, you'll notice it says scale right. They do that out of convenience, right? So it's nice and easy for you to understand. Let's go and make both of them the same scale. So when you do that, now you see that the moving average is doing what the moving average is supposed to do. And, that, and this is an, a 13 period EMA, which means that it's gonna hug price or whatever the uh, uh, asset indicator is that it's studying. It's gonna hug it pretty closely. So when we look at this, we're like, okay, that makes sense. So we have our OBV, we have our OBV EMA, and we have our volume just up top. You can leave it like this, or you can take the next step, and we're going to select merge. You see, I went and select the volume, right click, and merge down. Boink. Now we have the indicator, the moving average, and the volume itself all on the same screen. The last thing here, now you notice when I selected the scales for the OBV study, remember we set them to left. And if we go on the volume itself, you see that it's set to right. If 
you go on here and you see that they're all set to the same scale, your study's going to look like this. And you're going to be like, what the heck? How can I use this, Brian? The key is you have to go in and set the volume to a different scale than uh, the indicator. So one on the left, the indicator and the moving average on the left, and we'll set the volume to the right. Now we have the volume bars nicely overlaid. And what's really important here, and you know, me personally, I would prefer, you know, just because I'm, you know, old school or whatever you want to call it, uh, that maybe we go say something like big down volume bar days are going to be red and up volume bar days are going to be green. That way you can see it. Um, as well, me personally, I don't use the volume moving average as much. And it's, you know, it's totally personal. Or when I study volume, what I'm really looking at is what I call impetus. Um, if, you know, you can use the moving average, that's six to one half dozen the other. If you want to minimize it, and it's kind of tricky, you have to go into the volume MA, and you'll notice that it says area. Go into the actual box itself and just minimize that. You can't, there isn't a button to say turn the moving average off. What you have to do is just minimize it. Now when I go back to the chart, you see that the moving average is gone. And this is my completed study. All right, I hope that helped. Uh, have yourselves a great day. All the best, and bye for now.